Have you ever wondered about the enduring qualities that make a movie a timeless symbol of the entertainment industry? One such film that continues to captivate audiences since its release in 1979 is 1941. When was the first time you watched this movie, and what is it about this cinematic creation that keeps it eternally relevant? Directed by the legendary Steven Spielberg, 1941 is a unique blend of comedy and wartime suspense set against the backdrop of World War II. This film has left an indelible mark on the industry, not just because of its star-studded cast and exceptional production values, but also for its ability to blend humor and action in a way that few films have achieved. As you reflect on this classic movie, we'd love to hear about your most cherished memory or personal experience related to 1941. Share your stories and memories in the comments below, and let's celebrate this cinematic gem together. What's your connection to 1941? Share your thoughts and experiences, and let's keep the conversation alive. 1941, released in 1979, is a chaotic and satirical comedy film directed by Steven Spielberg, known for his blockbuster hits. Set in the aftermath of the Pearl Harbor attack during World War II, the film portrays the hysteria and absurdity that gripped the citizens of Los Angeles as they feared a Japanese invasion of their homeland. With a star-studded ensemble cast, including John Belushi, Dan Aykroyd, and John Candy, the film weaves a madcap tale of misadventures involving civilians, soldiers, and zany characters as they navigate the chaos of the wartime era. 1941 is characterized by Spielberg's signature blend of action, comedy, and spectacular visual effects, showcasing his versatility beyond his typical dramatic films. The movie's kinetic style and slapstick humor set against the backdrop of historical events make it a unique and unforgettable cinematic experience. Despite its initial critical reception, which was mixed, 1941 has gained a cult following over the years and is appreciated for its over-the-top antics and nostalgia-inducing tribute to the 1940s. The film's influence on popular culture can be seen in its memorable characters, quotable lines, and its place in the evolution of Spielberg's directorial career as he experimented with different genres and storytelling styles. In summary, 1941 is a zany and irreverent comedy that takes a historical event and turns it into a raucous adventure, featuring iconic characters, an eclectic ensemble cast, and Spielberg's unique cinematic style, which has left an enduring mark on the world of film and pop culture. The man eating spaghetti during one of the riot and fight scenes was also played by John Belushi. In the 1979 movie 1941, known for its chaotic and satirical comedy, John Belushi added a humorous touch by portraying the spaghetti-eating character in the midst of the film's frenetic scenes. Belushi, along with other notable actors like Dan Aykroyd and John Candy, contributed to the madcap and zany atmosphere of the film. 1941 is a prime example of Steven Spielberg's versatility, showcasing his ability to blend action, comedy, and spectacular visual effects in a unique cinematic style. Despite its mixed initial critical reception, the film has gained a cult following and left a lasting mark on the world of film and pop culture. It's an iconic moment in the movie and a testament to the comedic talent of John Belushi. 3. The gas station that Wild Bill Kelso accidentally blows up early in this movie is the same one seen in Duel, with Lucille Benson appearing as the proprietor in both movies. In the 1979 movie 1941, there's an explosive scene where Wild Bill Kelso accidentally blows up a gas station. What's interesting is that the same gas station appeared in the 1971 film Duel. Lucille Benson played the proprietor in both movies. It's a curious connection between two different films and showcases some behind-the-scenes trivia for movie enthusiasts. Stay tuned for more interesting tidbits about the 1979 movie 1941. One, one of the few American films Tashir Mifune would appear in. 1,979 seconds 1941 is also notably the only American film where he uses his own voice when speaking English. Nifune, who had never learned English, would imitate his English dialogue by sounding out the words phonetically in other films. Voice artist Paul Fries provided Mifune's dubbed English voice in several previous films where he was required to speak proficient English, and Mifune would frequently mouth the words only. 
However, 1941 stands as the exception, where he speaks English without freeze. In his later career, Mifune expressed disappointment that he had never learned to speak the language. This unique aspect of Mifune's involvement in the film adds an interesting layer to the behind-the-scenes history of 1941. The scene where Captain Wild Bill Kelso slips and tumbles off of the wing of his airplane as he is about to take off was a real accident. Olushi slipped as he was climbing into the plane. It was kept in the movie because it fit his character. In a memorable moment from the 1979 movie 1941, John Belushi's character, Captain Wild Bill Kelso, takes an unexpected tumble off the wing of his airplane. What's interesting is that this wasn't scripted. It was a genuine accident that happened while Belushi was getting into the plane. However, the filmmakers decided to keep this unplanned mishap in the final cut because it added to the character's comedic charm and the overall zany atmosphere of the film. This incident is a testament to the improvisational and spontaneous nature of the movie's production, reflecting the chaotic and satirical comedy style that 1941 is known for. It's just one of the many behind-the-scenes anecdotes that make this film a unique and entertaining part of cinematic history. Stay tuned for more interesting tidbits about the 1979 movie 1941. One, in a deleted scene from the 1979 movie 1941, Captain Wild Bill Kelso, played by John Belushi, and Sergeant Frank Tree, portrayed by Dan Aykroyd, share a brief but memorable interaction. This scene takes place just before Kelso boards a Japanese submarine. The two characters look at each other as if recognizing each other, a nod to their real-life friendship. Surprisingly, this was the only scene in the entire film where these two iconic actors interacted. This behind-the-scenes tidbit offers a glimpse into the camaraderie and improvisational spirit that contributed to the unique charm of 1941. One, like real movies of the early 1940s, Steven Spielberg planned for a card at the end urging the audience to buy war bonds at this theater. In the 1979 movie 1941, director Steven Spielberg paid homage to the era it portrayed, the early 1940s. Just like real movies from that time, Spielberg planned to include a card at the end of the film encouraging the audience to buy war bonds at this theater. This small but significant detail added an authentic touch to the movie, aligning it with the patriotic and supportive spirit of the wartime era. It's a testament to Spielberg's dedication to capturing the essence of the 1940s in this chaotic and satirical comedy. So, the next time you watch 1941, keep an eye out for this historical nod that reflects the patriotism of the World War II era. It's just one of the many interesting details that make this film a unique part of cinematic history. Stay tuned for more insights about the 1979 movie 1941. As we bring this cinematic journey to a close, let's take a moment to reflect on the timeless classic that is the 1979 movie, 1941. The film transports us to a bygone era, one filled with laughter, chaos, and a dash of nostalgia. In its whirlwind of memorable characters, uproarious gags, and dazzling visuals, 1941 captures the essence of a world on the brink of war, all wrapped up in a comedic package that leaves an indelible mark. Have you ever found yourself swept away by the zany antics of the ensemble cast? Perhaps you recall the unforgettable submarine scene or the chaotic dance number on the beach. It's the kind of film that has a way of embedding itself in our memories, evoking laughter and a sense of adventure. We invite you to share your favorite memories and thoughts about 1941. Did it leave you in stitches, or did it strike a chord with the historical backdrop it humorously portrayed? Maybe you have a personal connection with the era or the film's characters. Whatever it may be, your reflections are a testament to the enduring power of this cinematic gem. Thank you for taking the time to delve into the world of 1941 with us. Your interest and engagement make the movie's legacy even more vibrant and enduring. We hope this outro has encouraged you to revisit this classic or sparked conversations with fellow movie enthusiasts. Your unique perspective adds to the rich tapestry of interpretations that make 1941 a beloved piece of cinematic history. Once again, we appreciate your time and interest. Until our next cinematic journey, stay curious and keep those memories alive.